Okay. Yeah. Uh, hi, I'm Morris, and recently I worked on CI at Nextcloud. CI means continuous integration, uh, which is yeah, just executing all our tests we have here in our code base automatically on every pull request, and only if the tests all pass, then um, yeah, then then uh, it's allowed to merge a pull request, and. That's how usually a continuous integration looks like. You see, for example, the pull request number on the top and then the log output um, of the test run. And here you see um, uh, the software drone because uh, I choose it because yeah, it was just too much work to set up Jenkins and I looked for an alternative that's easier to configure and especially to have the configuration not on the server but actually in the in the Git repository where all the developers work and add new tests and add new uh, yeah, um, automatic tests that can be run. And this is specified in a .drone.jaml file and that looks like, like this here. This is a one, one test run and the nice thing about this is that you don't rely on installed, so, uh, installed software on the server on your CI server, but you simply specify one uh, Docker image that is used and then all the tests are executed inside this Docker image. It makes it at least uh, yeah, more reproducible on different hosts, so you can also run it locally and on different servers and don't need to care about, oh, I need to install PHP and PHP 7 and PHP 5.5 and all PHP unit and all external dependencies, but you simply ship them all in one Docker container and use use that one. That made it a lot easier to also scale out workers. Yeah, in this case, it uh, executes the, the app code checker and runs our OCC command, uh, which which does it. And if the exit code is non-zero, then something bad happened, and you better better fix the app. Um, recently, we had in place for, yes, since June to two weeks ago, we had Drone 04 uh, live, which was quite limiting because there were only sequential execution of all tests allowed and no parallel execution, which yeah, limited us in, in running different and many automated tests. And recently, we switched to the new version 05. It looks a bit more like Travis, and what really nice is, is that it allows full parallel execution of all steps. So now we will focus on adding even more tests and executing more tests um, automatically. That's what we added really, really lately, especially all the all the litmus tests and Kaldaf uh, tester and Kaldaf tester. Before it was simply executed manually, but now we added it to the to the automated list, and yeah, it's it's growing every week. And yeah, what's what's up in the future or in the new future is that we add even more tests for especially uh, files external, where we test, for example, Samba mounts or um, uh, object store mounts. Um, try to, to also add tests for the primary storages so that all tests are not only run on local local disk but also on, for example, the object object store we support, which is currently only run manually. And what uh, what is the next biggest goal is to have the Smashbox test up and running because that are the actually okay we have a client fired up, run a complete synchronization cycle, and then see if all, all went well. This is currently just executed manually, really regularly, but that yeah, frees some time on, on this side and we can run this automatically. What I would like to uh, yeah, recommend is to try to move all apps from Travis, um, because Travis has a read hard limitation of only allowing two parallel test executions uh, for a whole organization, that means for us, we have a lot of apps, for example, the mail app. Uh, maintainers always complain about it because mail app and I guess the Android client 
if they if they work in parallel, they always run in some. Yeah, I need to wait five hours until Travis executes my tests. It's quite annoying, and that would allow us to just throw more hardware on our side and um, fix this this uh, time constraint. Yeah, that's it from my side. If you want uh, to know more about this and how to set it up, just come over, talk to me, or mention me on GitHub. I will help you. Thank you. Thank you.